Hi, welcome to another show of Russ on Flowers. I'm your host, Russ. Doing a Valentine's Day show today. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. All right, let's talk about roses. Roses, everybody sends roses on Valentine's Day. So we're gonna talk about some meanings. We're gonna talk about quantities that you send and what that means. Red rose is a symbol of love. We all know that, right? Um, there's a ton of other meanings, but I'm gonna, t I'm gonna touch on the top ones. White shows purity and innocence. Pink shows grace and joy and gratitude. You have orange, which is desire and enthusiasm, and yellow means joy and friendship. As far as the quantities and what the quantities mean when you're sending roses or you're giving roses, we're gonna go through one rose, love at first sight, you are the one. Two, mutual love and feelings. Three, is also, three roses also says I love you. You get a tiered effect and a little bud vase. It's a great way to also save some money. It's a little more economical than blowing out the whole dozen to two dozen right roses are going up all the time freight's up i mean everything is up so um three is a good way to say hey i love you right go seven seven roses would be the next number so we jump from three to seven and it's together forever love that 10 represents perfection so if you give somebody 10 roses that means perfection the dozen roses the standard for be mine Right, 13, a sign of enduring friendship, and 15 roses. I'm sorry, right? Those are some of the symbols and meanings for the colors and some of the quantities. We have a great package that we're talking about today from our other, our non-for-profit that we work with every day, all day. Um, it's called Flowers for Heroes. Flowers for Heroes, can, you can visit it at flowersforheroes.org. We're working on and, and sponsoring a Valentine's Day bouquet special. If you're trying to raise money for a church group, if you're trying to raise money for your dance club, or you're just trying to raise money for your, your favorite non-for-profit, whether you have one or not, and you want to give back some money, this is a cool way to do it. We've designed this program, and we can, we're doing it nationally right now, where you can, we'll send you these order forms, okay? And these order forms, you fill out, and you have people purchasing bouquets from you. And what will happen is, is they have, a, they have a choice of one of these five bouquets. This one is basically, it's, it's Gerber daisies and spray roses, right? The value of this, what you'd be selling it for is $29.95, okay? Second one is lilies and Gerber daisies, okay? That price is $19.95. I have a dozen roses here for $29.95, a half a dozen for $19.95. And then there's one with Gerbers and daisies and assorted for $29.95. It's five bouquets to choose from. You go out and you sell these to people. You keep 30%. So everything that you sell, you put a group of people together, you go out and you start selling bouquets, whether you go door to door, whether you set up a table at a business, whether you have another group that you introduce this to, if you're, you know, if you're a church group leader or you have a troop, if you're in Boy Scouts or in your Cub Scouts, you do something along those lines and you have a troop that can go out and raise funds for themselves, this is a good way to do that. 30% of the proceeds would go back to your organization. 40% um, would go back to Flowers for Heroes and the other 30%, as we know, is overhead and costs associated with this. But the great thing about this is, is we will divide out your order and send you all the bouquets to a single location for distribution, okay? They're huge bouquets, they're great value, great something great for Valentine's Day. We're running it starting now all the way through like the 5th of February. Okay, I need a week to get them all ordered. So it's a great plan, flowersforheroes.org. If you want more information about this, you can, you can contact me through Russ Wholesale Flowers, through Russ2, the number two, at russonflowers.com, and also at russ at flowersforheroes.org. There's a few different ways that you can contact me. And Flowers for Heroes, uh, you know, it's a not-for-profit that raises money for Gold Star families. We've been at this for a few months now. We're registered 501c3, so check it out. It's a great, great non-for-profit. For the remainder of this show, we're going to talk about some trivia. And uh, <laughs> these trivias kill me, right? 73% of people buying flowers for Valentine's Day are men. The other 27% are women. So basically, there's a ton more men buying roses. I couldn't have guessed that. But about 3%... Of pet owners will, will give Valentine's Day gifts to their pets. Could you imagine? What could you possibly give your pet on Valentine's Day? It wasn't until 1537 that St. Valentine's Day was declared an official holiday. England's King Henry 
the 8th declared February 14th a holiday, which we don't have the day off, but it would be nice if we did. Children ages 6 to 10 exchange more than 650 million Valentine's Day cards. All right, the red rose is a favorite flower of Venus, the Roman goddess of love. Red stands for strong feelings, which is why the red rose is the flower of love. And there's a lot of Valentine's Day superstitions as well. It is said that the kind of bird... <laughs> it's the kind of bird... <laughs> there's, this, is, this is about birds. Um, the type of bird that flies over a girl's head can predict the type of husband she's going to have in her future. For instance, a sparrow. If a sparrow was to fly over a girl's head, um, she's going to marry a poor man. So a bluebird is a happy man. That's good. A blackbird, a priest or a clergyman. A crossbill, um, an argumentative man. So I, I mean, I'm not a bird guy. So if I saw a bird fly over your head, I wouldn't even know what to say. I could, you know what I mean? I mean, how many people know what a crossbill is, right? That's interesting, all right? So here's some other ones. If an apple is cut in half, the number of seeds found inside the fruit will indicate the number of children that an individual will have. That's interesting. To be awoken by a kiss on Valentine's Day is considered lucky. On Valentine's Day, the first guy's name you read in the paper or hear on TV or radio will be the name of the man you will marry. That's the superstition, huh? Jesus. If you see a flock of doves on Valentine's Day, you will be happy, peace, and a peaceful marriage. If you find a glove on the road on Valentine's Day, your future beloved will have the other glove, the other missing glove. So those are some superstitions for Valentine's Day. Go back to Flowers for Heroes, this great, this, this great fundraiser that we put together. Keep it in mind. If you again, if you have somebody or a friend that you're looking to raise money for and you don't know how. It's one of my dreams come true is to uh, be able to launch something like this. And we were able to do that this last year to be able to help others. And we're hoping that you can take advantage of this too and help someone that you care about or a group that you care about you're trying to raise some funds to move them into the next realm of succession and whatever their plan is. Thanks for coming to our show. Again, RussWholesaleFlowers.com. Hit us up there. We can send you these flowers, no problem. Ask us to send you these brochures. Send me an email at Russ2 at Russ on Flowers if you have questions as well. Look forward to seeing you next time. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm.